Today I am tying the Cracked Head Charlie, a variant of the Crazy Charlie. For a hook, I am using the Gamagatsu SL45 Bonefish Hook in size 6. And for thread, I am using Danville's 210 Flat Waxed in Hot Pink. Start your thread just behind the eye of the hook and make a few wraps rearward before clipping the tag end. Make a little pad to put the bead chain eye on and attach the eyes. For more information on attaching bead chain eyes, click the bead chain link at the bottom of the video or in the description section. Always add a drop of super glue to keep the eyes in place. Now wrap back to the bend of the hook with smooth wraps. You can spin your bobbin counterclockwise if your thread gets twisted. Now attach a clipping of D-rib or 20 pound monofilament, but D-rib is much easier to use. Then attach a strand of saltwater sized pearl flashaboo and wrap up past the bead chain. Make a half hitch to keep your thread in place and then rest your bobbin on the bobbin cradle. Then wrap the flashaboo up the hook shank and crisscross over the eyes. Capture the flashaboo with a few tight wraps and cut off the excess. Make another half hitch and rest the bobbin on the bobbin cradle again. This time we will wrap the D-rib up the hook shank tightly with touching wraps. And capture it at the head of the fly. Now rotate your fly upside down in the vise for the next step. For fiber, I am using a dubbing called the Kraken Enhanced, which has some mini rubber legs mixed in and also some flash material as well. Grab a small clump and clip off the extra long fibers or rubber legs. I find that the fibers being tied right in the center of the clump tend to make them the right length for the fly. So make a few wraps in the center, then pull the other side up and tie that back as well. I also like to make a couple wraps under the dubbing to keep it angled upward a bit. Now add a few strands of crystal flash at an angle so it matches the dubbing angle. And tie it in on both sides. Now you can whip finish your fly. This dubbing sometimes goes all over the place, and you will probably have a few strands sticking out of your head. Make sure and trim off all the stray fibers. I did miss a few here. Now for the final step, I like adding a UV curing resin made by Solarez called Bone Dry. It is applied with a brush included in the cap of the bottle and cures quickly without any tackiness. And there we have it, a flashy and interesting variant of the Crazy Charlie. As you can see, it sinks slowly and pretty evenly with the B-chain eyes. The crack and dubbing with the rubber legs really move nicely in the water. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out my website for more videos at www.mcflyangler.com. Now go catch some fish.